In this video, I will show you how we can only use a JDY08 module to control digital output and PWM output without any external microcontroller. The module has 8 user controllable output pins, 4 of which can either be set high or low. Those are on pin 8, 9, 10 and 13. Pin 7, 14, 15 and 16 are output with PWM functionality. Now I will connect the power supply to the board. Let's bring the mobile phone to the video screen. Launch the NRF Connect app, connect to JDY08 module. You will see there are three services. Open the first service. There are two characteristics in this service. The first characteristic is for serial communication and the second one for the app control. If you want to turn on the LED on pin 7, we need to type in E7F101 and press send button. To turn off the LED, just type E7F100 and send. To turn on the second LED, we need to send E7F201. And to turn off the LED, we need to send E7F200. You can control all the four lines with these commands. You can also control the PWM output of the module. To control the PWM, first you need to turn on the PWM and then you need to set the frequency. To turn on the PWM, you need to write E8A101. Then we need to set the frequency of PWM. The maximum frequency is 4 kHz. To set the PWM frequency at 4 kHz, we need to send E8A20FA0. Hexadecimal FA0 equals to 4000 in decimal. To set the PWM of the first output, I will send E8 A319. It will set the LED to 25% brightness. Hexadecimal 19 equals to 25 in decimal. Now let's change the brightness of the LED couple of times. Just copying the E8A3 to save some time. Now set the brightness to 85%. Hexadecimal 55 is 85 in decimal. To completely turn off the LED, set the brightness to 0. Move on to the second LED. The LED address is E8A4. I am sending 7D which equals to 125% and it works. So if I send more than 100 it will also work. Check the other one by sending some random brightness values. So you can see these commands are quite helpful to make minimum component Bluetooth devices like a keychain or a Bluetooth bulb. I hope this video was helpful. Does this module spark any idea on your mind? Let me know in the comment section and I will see you on the next one.